Hey guys, today we are going back to basics with Affinity Designer version 2. I'm going to show you how you can curve your text. That's the most such how-to question for this software, so let's cover that today. In version 2 we got two options. Option number one that exists also in the previous version of the software is to create some kind of vector path and then put the text on it. So let's uh, take a look. That's a standard text. Let's move it to the side for a moment. We're going to grab a pen tool over here and then I can draw a curve and that's it. Let me add some stroke to it so we can see it. That's it. That's just a vector curve over here. If I select and copy my text move back to this path i can select text tool now when you hover your mouse with the text tool on you can see it changing icon that's when you must click it paste your text or type something new and here it is as you can see my text is too large so let's reduce the size and you can also move those points beginning and the end of the area when you can put the text and the curve is still editable so let's try to do that i'm picking node tool and i'm moving my node around and the text is bending it's dancing on this nice curve all right so that's the method with the curve we are drawing a line and then putting the text on it as i show you and text will adjust to this curve. All right, I do not recommend using a very fancy fonts for that. Rather stick to simple fonts. Of course, you can do it with the full shape like a circle. Take a look. If I got a circle like this, I grab a text tool, hover my mouse, paste the text, and here it is. All right, so that's also possible. If you got a very sharp, let's say very round, very round curve like this all around, in that case, you will need to walk a little bit more with that text to adjust the distance between letters and stuff like that. So don't forget to open additional panels at the top. Over here, you can open some panels and then you can adjust some position of your letters all right so if you click this letter a at the top you can adjust the distance between letters and and that stuff may help you out if your curve is uh, really like full curve like it's full circle all right so don't forget about that so that's the method one we can actually place a text on the path and now with the version two we can use additional methods simply grab your text move down below the layer panel over here to mesh warp and we can use some preset like this arc and here it is our text is bended now we can now adjust the value like that more than this there are a few more options we can select right like twist or fish eye and stuff like that so there's also mesh option when you can manually do all of that stuff if you go for mesh then you can actually select this area move it up let's select this area move it down and your text is bent to it but don't worry you can open this warp group and you see the original text layer inside so we can still edit that text that's non-destructive method all right so keep that in mind now we get two ways you can draw a path with let's say pen tool and then paste your text on that vector path or you can use a vector warp tool to warp your text and then manually adjust those warping points i hope this tutorial was helpful don't forget i got more than 100 tutorials for affinity designers so please check up the playlist maybe we'll find something 
Nuder. I hope I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.